Hey everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going into practice quiz number four for your nursing licensing exams. I'll walk you through the answers and rationales for each question. Starting right off with question number one, you are caring for a patient who has recently been diagnosed with hypothyroidism. The patient is worried about some of the things that might happen to their body if the disease is not managed well. You inform the patient that, and for each question, I'll leave a bit of a break where you can pause and think about the answer. So the right answer here is D. It is common to experience weight gain and difficulty losing weight. Hypothyroidism means a decrease in usable thyroid hormone by the body. When this happens, metabolism slows down, and the patient's total calorie usage also goes down. If calorie usage goes down and the diet remains the same, then weight gain can occur. Moving on to question number two, a patient is being administered 12 units of insulin lantus at 2100. It is important that the nurse understands that the duration of insulin lantus is, and this one is D, 24 hours. It's important for nurses to understand that lantus is a long-acting insulin with a duration of 24 hours. Question number three, you are caring for a patient with a history of angina. The patient recently returned from an outing with his family and reports two out of 10 chest pain and mild dyspnea. Which of the following interventions should the nurse carry out first? The answer here is D, ask the patient to sit down and relax for a few minutes. Decreasing oxygen demand by getting the patient to rest should be the first intervention to alleviate the angina pain. If the pain persists, administering PRN nitroglycerin spray should follow. Question number four, the Glasgow Coma Scale assesses which of the following areas? The answer here is A, eye opening, verbal response, and motor response. The Glasgow Coma Scale is a scoring scale of eye opening and motor and verbal responses that is typically used to objectively measure the level of consciousness and severity of injury following a head injury. Question number five, a patient has recently been involved in a motor vehicle collision. The patient was sitting in the front seat and presents with external trauma to the chest. The patient presents with left-sided chest pain that worsens during inspiration. The nurse auscultates the lungs and hears diminished breath sounds in the left lung. The nurse assesses vital signs as follows. Blood pressure is 146 over 92, oxygen is 92%, respiration rate of 26, and heart rate of 148, with a temperature of 37.5. What medical diagnosis will the nurse most likely suspect for her patient? The answer here is B, open pneumothorax. External trauma indicates that an object may have punctured the chest wall into the lung, leading to an open pneumothorax. Question number six, which of the following are the triad of cardinal motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease? The answer here is A, rigidity, bradykinesia, and tremors. Rigidity, bradykinesia, or slowed movements, and tremors are the triad of cardinal motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Unstable gait may be present alongside the triad. Question number seven, which of the following medications is most likely to be ordered for a client with type two diabetes? This one is D, metformin. Type two diabetic clients will most likely be ordered an oral diabetic medication. A, B, and C are all injectable insulins most commonly administered to clients with type one diabetes. And question number eight, when is it most important to begin teaching clients about post-operative goals for a healthy and quick recovery? The answer here is A, preoperatively. Part of the preoperative teaching involves teaching the client about postoperative goals and how the client and nurse will plan on achieving the goals. It is very important to begin this process before the surgery occurs as it may be more difficult for the client to understand and process the information after the procedure. And that's it for our fourth licensing exam quiz. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching watching.